Elsa's potential wrath is bringing up the issue of climate change and its effect on hurricanes. Scientists think the rising sea level is causing more intense storms that do more damage. Tonight News 8's Abby Alford shows us the impact of global warming and whether we could see hurricanes here in Southern California. There were a record number of hurricanes in the Atlantic last year. And while scientists do not believe will be as busy, they do say it'll be above normal. And they believe that climate change is having a big impact. As Hurricane Elsa makes her way to Florida, scientists say climate change is causing tropical cyclones, also called hurricanes, to pack a bigger punch. Hurricanes are likely to become slightly more intense with global warming. National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration climate scientist Tom Knudsen has been studying climate change effects on hurricanes for more than two decades and says the research is a bit complex. Well, one reason that we're not, we're sort of nuanced in our statements about all this business of hurricanes and climate change is that we don't see a strong sort of smoking gun for changes in hurricanes in the data records. But what models do show, stronger hurricanes are riding in at higher background sea levels. This higher sea level that we have is going to, is going to set the stage for greater damage potential at the coast. Knudsen says over the next century, there's a 5% increase in Mach wind speeds, causing more flooding and more damage. Well, in our models, they look slightly more intense on average with these higher rainfall rates, but there very well may be fewer storms overall. On the West Coast, hurricanes are extremely rare. The last one was a Category 1 in 1939. Most happen in Central America and Baja. It has happened and we would expect it to happen more frequently in the future. NOAA weather models don't show a hurricane off the California coast, but local geologist Dr. Pat Abbott says you can't count it out just yet. As the oceans get warmer and warmer, and particularly doing an El Nino, the next big El Nino we get may well bring a hurricane all the way up and in. Scientists say that they're still uncertain on whether global warming impacts the number of hurricanes, but they say that models show that there are fewer weaker storms, but more intense storms.